To hear the Biden administration tell it, the U.S. economy is on an upswing. Over the past three years, President Biden and I have lowered costs, created opportunity, and are building an economy that works for working people. We have created more than 14 and a half million new jobs, increased wages for tens of millions of Americans. Today, consumer confidence is up and consumer spending is an all-time high. And although we have more work to do, let us be clear, America's economy continues to be the strongest in the world. The head of the U.S. Central Bank, which fiercely maintains its independence from political pressure, agrees. We feel like inflation is coming down. Uh, growth has been strong. The labor market is strong. Um, we're, what we're trying to do is identify a place where we're really confident about inflation, get it getting back down to 2%, so that we can then begin uh, the process of dialing back the restrictive level. But a new poll from research firm Ipsos shows that a rising number of American voters don't buy it. And that's hurting Biden's reelection chances. Biden uh, is entering into 2024 in a weakened position. Um, we have him at this point at 38 percent approval rating. Um, and that's important because uh, based on our experience or historical experience, uh, a sitting president at 40 percent approval rating approval rating or better, has better than a 50-50 chance of winning the next election. Voters' top issue, Young says, is the economy. And not the bigger trends, but the nickels and dimes. Peel that onion away and they're really worried about inflation. South Carolina's Democratic voters overwhelmingly supported Biden in a recent primary. But even supporters say they feel the pinch. Groceries are high, um, higher than we've seen in a while. Gas is also, but what I'm encouraged by is mortgage interest rates are beginning to go down. That, Young says, is a new spin off the Clinton-era political saying that American voters share one priority. It's the economy, stupid. It's, it's actually, it's the, the inflation, stupid. And, and by the way, we really don't know how inflation behaves relative to politics, relative to public opinion. We haven't had a lot of experience in the United States in, in the last few generations with high rates of inflation. Donald Trump has touted his economic acumen to voters on the campaign trail. The former president, however, is facing four criminal cases and a civil judgment over alleged business fraud, in which he's accused of wildly inflating his net worth. Is that likely to sway voters whose minds appear to be already made up? The world will find out in November. Anita Powell, VOA News, The White House.